Welcome back to another episode. If you haven't already, please hit that like button, subscribe, keep up to date with what I'm trying to put out to you guys. So if you haven't uh, seen behind me, I'm actually out camping at the moment and just thought I'd do a vlog whilst I'm out here because obviously I haven't got uh, anything else to do. So other than just relaxing, which is nice, um, but it's a great opportunity to have a chat with you guys. So I wanted to have a talk about Ricky Garrard. So we've recently seen that Dave Castro posted that he was going um, coming back from his four year suspension and that he was going to Dubai CrossFit Championships. Now Ricky has actually confirmed this. He put up a uh, post on his story saying that he had accepted his invite to the Dubai CrossFit Championships. Now this will be his first competition back after his four year suspension after being banned for four years for taking banned substances. Now Dubai CrossFit Championships has also put out a story saying who they were inviting on the men's side and one of those 20 names was Ricky Garrard's name. So Ricky Garrard's quite lucky to have been given an invite to this event. It will be his first official comp back in the CrossFit scene so it'll be pretty awesome to watch and see how he goes against everyone else. It'll also be interesting to see how the spectators and the people in general take him coming back especially the athletes as well I think the most people will be quite accepting because he has served his time and he's done his obviously what he was given and he's done most of it gracefully I suppose and like there were a couple of things like other than the fact that he is an Australian and they talk like that in that instance where he called Matt Fraser out however other than that he's been pretty good especially recently now he's been very quiet on social media over the last probably year leading into the final year of his suspension so it'll be interesting to see how that goes that's coming up in december now the bike across the championships obviously sends out only 20 invites to individual athletes on those invite lists was actually sarah sigma sort of now she's recently still coming back from her acl reconstruction whether or not she's going to be ready for the dubai crossfit championships will be interesting to see so i haven't actually seen an official acceptance from her so we keeping an eye on that also gui mal harris so he obviously did a epic showing at the crossfit games especially in the snatch event where he won that and in the sprint event he won that as well it's very entertaining to watch he's also accepted his invite to that event so that'll be cool to see because he's actually competing at rogue as well as the dubai crossfit championships on the invite list was also on the female side was kara saunders i remember seeing um however kara saunders is obviously she had a lot of issues when she went to the games she got COVID on the way then she had to pull out of the games because she got sick and then obviously coming back and then having to leave her daughter for the whole time and it's just a super traumatic experience so i'll be interested to see whether she accepts it i kind of don't think she will because her focus probably isn't there right now and i think that she just wants to spend some time with her family after her experience with traveling over to the games and i do believe that the next time she travels she probably wouldn't go without her family so the ex extreme cost of having to go overseas would be a little bit harsh on her especially coming straight back from having just attended the games on Kara Saunders, we've actually just seen her recently post in her story. Uh, her shipping container pool is getting installed at the moment. This is such a cool idea. If you don't have heaps of space and you don't want to dig up your lawn and stuff, these are really cool. So it's actually like a swimming pool that's been placed inside a shipping container and then it literally just gets installed at your house. And then you can build a deck or whatever around it. Um, great initiative. It's cost saving you could probably take it with you if you wanted to take it to your next venue um, next house if you decide to buy another house um, but yeah really cool idea and I think it's awesome I might even look into getting one if Jay lets me <laughs> uh, we've also seen Lars Christensen so Lars Christensen he is based out of CrossFit Woolgulga down near Coffs Harbour and he is known for walking on his hands so he used to be in Cirque du Soleil I just saw a post of him recently just doing a handstand obstacle course and he'd set it up where he had to walk towards the obstacle but he was carrying dumbbells the whole time then he went on to parallel bars which looks super unstable um, and then he came off those parallel bars back onto dumbbells and had to walk along and you could tell that he had a few attempts at it however then he nailed it in the end and he was pretty excited after he nailed it he did a backflip as well um, also just seen that Olivia Kelly, so she is probably one of the 
strongest female crossfitters going around at the moment so she has actually just won gold for australia in the 71 kilo category at the oceana senior championships so she snatched 90 kilos and clean and jerked 117 kilos and that gave her the win so gold medal for her so well done olivia for that also want to touch on camille leblanc bazinet so she is one of crossfit's original crossfitters She's actually prepping for a bikini competition at the moment. So she's sort of taken a step away from CrossFit. Obviously, she still does functional training and she has her own um, company that she does a lot of programming with and stuff. However, she's actually, since having her daughter, she's now prepping for a bikini competition. And we've just seen her post and share how she's, the hardest part for her is the stage performance so the walk and stuff like that now especially for women i guess who don't have that natural sex appeal like i would personally struggle with it a lot just trying to do that walk and stuff so kudos to those people who can do it she's actually been seen getting some posing practice from erin stern who is a two-time miss olympia so i'm excited to see how camille goes in this she has trimmed up a lot she still looks fabulous and great job on her doing something else and refocusing her mind because she is a competitive person she was once a competitive gymnast now then she was a competitive crossfit athlete and now she's going into a bikini so it'd be awesome to see so thanks for tuning in today if you haven't already please hit that like button subscribe keep up to date for what i'm putting out there thanks